All right, everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video on the truck, uh, and we just had our very first uh, cold weather of the fall for 2023. It was Halloween yesterday, and it actually snowed a little bit. So unfortunately, these batteries are about shot. Uh, it went through the typical um, diesel preheat cycle on the EVIC, and then click, and then I cycled through it again, and then click. Uh, these batteries that come in these trucks stock are pretty trash. So uh, I'd recommend going with some AGMs. Uh, I think I went with Interstate. I picked them up at my local Costco. Uh, you can pick them up at either Costco or Amazon. Uh, they got a pretty good warranty. I think it's a 36 month warranty. Um, I actually am launching a storefront on Amazon for the channel. So if there's something on the truck or something I've bought for the truck or the channel that you like, you can find that link in the uh, top of the description. And it is also an affiliate link, so it does help out the channel. Um, so I'd greatly appreciate if you uh, checked that out. Now I already have removed the black fender bars that connect here and up here on both sides, just so that way getting the batteries in and out would be a little bit easier. Um, I will be reusing these battery blankets uh, so I will install those before I put them in. You are gonna need a 13 millimeter for this guy as well as that guy. And then right down in there, I don't know how well you're gonna see that. There's a, right there, that guy, there's a 10 millimeter. And that block is actually designed to keep the battery from moving around. So that one's gonna be kind of a pain in the, uh, in the butt to get to. Uh, I probably won't use an extension on that guy because this thing is protruding over the battery. But this one over here, I'll be able to use an extension on and get relatively easily. Um, if you do have a stock air intake, you can remove the the, uh, the tube there. It does make uh, getting that one out a little bit easier. You will have to kind of pull the battery forward to clear the uh, hood portion of it. But uh, other than that, it is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I would highly recommend removing the black uh, fender bars before taking these out because it does make things a little bit easier. So I'm gonna stop filming real quick. I'm gonna disconnect the batteries, uh, get them out, show you in there, and then uh, hopefully get it all put back together. All right, so once you disconnect uh, everything, take this guy off. This guy's kind of a pain in the butt because there's a little bit of these kind of locking tabs that lock into the side of the battery. So if you can get some leverage on it from down here and pull upwards and kind of rock it back and forth, you should be good. Uh, there's, a little, there's a little bit of water in here I will clean up, but that one wasn't that bad. Here's the 10 mil bolt and the wedge. This kind of just sits right in here like this. And it's designed to keep the battery from moving around while you're driving. So this side's good. I'm kind of clean, clean this crap up a little bit. And then I'll go to the other side again. I am gonna reuse the battery blanket. So let's tackle this side now. All right, so as you can see, this battery is now out. Looks like there is a little bit of coolant right here, probably from when I was filling something up or installing the uh, Muzzy's AC hack. But if you push the negative and the positive kind of out of the way and back, you can actually slide it forward once you remove that wedge and it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier to slide out. Like I said, I am gonna reuse the battery blankets. So we're gonna get these off. We're gonna snug that guy right up. Then we're gonna just reverse the process, put it back in, put the wedge in, and then tighten everything back down. I will be cleaning this tomorrow. That is a tomorrow me problem, but this thing is absolutely filthy. It needs to be addressed kind of some winter cleaning before it gets too cold out to do so we'll do that tomorrow that plastic cap right there goes over this guy so just take that off before you remove this side but not too shabby so far all right now that they're all buttoned up and secured in with these little wedges if you can see in the battery blankets i can uh then remove these caps snug everything back down and then replace and re-put in those uh, fender support bars and then we should be good to go um 
I'll check in with you guys in about uh, two or three minutes. Hold tight. All right, so there you have it. Everything's all buttoned back up. I got those fender bars on both sides installed. Uh, we are gonna fire the truck up now. Just a heads up, if you do turn on the truck and you are missing some things like your radio stations or your backup camera or some features, these trucks are extremely finicky with stuff like that. So it will come back in time. You just have to give it a second. So it did reset. This is no longer my uh, theme that I had chosen. I had the Rebel theme, I believe. I don't remember what this one was. But it looks like, let's see if my camera system works. Yeah, see, so it will go to a blue screen even when I put the vehicle in reverse, as you can see. It's in reverse. And it will have a blue screen. This stuff will come back. It just needs a time to have like a hard cycle. Um, so we're gonna go to my apps. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna change the, it's probably the display, right? Theme, set theme. Right now it's the 1500. I believe I had it on the Rebel. There we go. So there will be some things that just get reset. Uh, if you do have your radio, let's see if I can find the, the radio button media uh some of your stations may be completely wiped out it looks like it kept kept my stations which is pretty cool uh but like i was saying these trucks are kind of finicky so um things will come back over time again put it in reverse it's showing nothing blue screen don't worry about that uh i'm gonna let the truck sit for a couple couple minutes idling uh, i haven't really done any videos on the obd2 the Alpha OBD2. Uh, there's not really many features I'm looking at changing uh, from here on out. Um, I would like to add the off-road pages. However, I tried with that and it didn't work. It, it messed something up. And then I would like to have um, the uh, trail control mode essentially. So what that is, is it's it's like cruise control at extremely low speeds. Uh, you don't have that in these trucks. I'm, I'm hoping there's some sort of feature in Alpha OBD2 that you can actually lower the cruise control threshold. I believe right now these trucks are set to a minimum of 20 or 25 miles an hour. I'd really like to lower the cruise control uh, threshold down to 15, but I haven't been able to find that feature yet. So uh, there won't be many Alpha OBD2 videos if you're looking for that. Um, but there you have it. That's how you do a, a battery swap or battery install on one of these 5th gen 25 3500s. Um, like I said in the beginning, I am launching the Amazon uh, storefront for the channel. So if there's anything that I've purchased for this truck or the channel that you're interested in, uh, the link for that will be in the top of the description below. And again, that is an affiliate link, so it does help the channel out a bunch. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more of the uh, vehicle build, definitely subscribe to the channel. I will be adding um, lighting for the exterior of the truck here in the very near future. Uh, that's why it actually kind of worked out perfectly that uh, the battery has kind of crapped the bed on me. So uh, thanks so much and have a great day.